Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2020 Toyota Yaris Ascent Sports. A little bit about us here, Pacific Toyota Lexus of Cairns. We've seen one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards where we go through about 200 vehicles a month, making us Toyota's largest pre-owned vehicle department in Queensland. Now we do have a second yard just down at the edge of the city. We've also got the brand new part of Toyota Lexus with parts and services just out the back. And as you can see, quite a variety of vehicles here at our main yard just near DFO. Not only that, we're going to have our own showroom over the back there where we actually photograph each and every vehicle that comes through onto the yard. Throughout the video though, I'll be going around the yard here in complete detail, just pointing out any blemishes that may appear at the first point of sale. So start down around the front. As you can see, they've got the aftermarket uh, rims on them here. Giving it that nice sporty look, but just making sure there's no gutter rash or damages. And make sure we've got plenty of tire tread. Now that is part of the roadworthy certificate, including that driveway price here in Queensland. Down around the front though, nice and tidy. Just making sure there's no gutter rash or scratching, no dents or stone chips. We're also getting a great reflection of that pearlescent paint as well. And that nice sparkle from the sun. Across the bonnet, just making sure there's no dings or dents. Nice strap bodywork, very clean and tidy. Yeah. Down the passenger side, we'll cover each panel as we go. Again, just making sure there's no damages on those rims. There's plenty of tread in those tyres. But as we make our way down, just keeping an eye out for any little markings and imperfections. Nice and tidy, no damages on the side mirror. Down that passenger side, there's a little bit of dust on there. Make sure any little markings we can try and find, seeing if there's any little uh, paint imperfections or stone chips, but overall very clean and tidy. Nice straight bodywork. On the passenger rear, we've got a couple little minor markings on this one. A type of imperfections we do like to point out. Excellent tire tread there as well. Around the back now, making sure there's no knocks or dents. Light little marking just there. Make sure there's no big chunks taken out of that rear bar from items being loaded in now the boot. All very tidy. Get that reverse camera that we'll see in action a little bit later on as well. While we're back here, we'll have a look inside. Yeah, it looks like they've put in a bit of a boot liner here just to help try and protect it. Obviously, you can remove that if you like, but just making sure there hasn't been any damages that they're trying to hide. It's all been nicely looked after. And as we keep on going, uh, just making sure we've got the spare wheel and everything in there as well, full size spare, which is good to see. Beautiful, not only that, parcel shelf still in one piece. Down the driver's side now, again, we'll keep covering each panel. As we check out the fourth and final wheel, it's great to see that consistency as we're making our way around the vehicle. Down that passenger side, so normally it's very common inside the driver's door to get a knock or two. Regards to the paint, but this one looks to be very tidy. There's a little bit of dust there. There we go, a little, a little marking or two up here on the side mirror. Yeah, you can probably look at that, getting those brush touched, just ask us how. At the end of the day, still in one piece and still working beautifully. The windscreen just make sure there's no big chips or cracks again part of that roadworthy and across the roof no dings dents or hail damage and still getting great reflection off that paint so exterior in great condition a couple very minor imperfections to be expected being a pre-owned vehicle but overall very clean and tidy and now we'll make our way through the interior making sure it's been just as well looked after just checking out the door carts any wear and tear scratching or scuff marks through the upholstery, the carpet, uh, floor mats, and again, not hiding anything underneath. It's been very well looked after. No cuts, tears, burns or anything in the seats. Still in excellent condition. And same goes for that roof lining as well. 
driver's door, obviously the most commonly used, so we'll keep an eye for wear and tear on this one. Light little marking just there. But overall, no big scratches or damages. And again, the carpet floor mats up front and that driver's seat's still in excellent condition as well. But we'll jump in, we'll start it up for you. So you got one key with the central locking and the flip and then just that second uh, emergency spare. On the uh, driver's door though, electric windows, your locking for your side mirrors. Now do you, you do have the electric folding side mirrors. Make sure they're all working. Beautiful. You've even got the auto as well for when it's locked. Uh, at the end of the day, you've got your auto high beams. Now, it looks like they may have had an LED light bar at some point. It has obviously been removed, but they've just still got the button there. Uh, on the steering wheel, though, all your controls. Obviously, you just skip songs and everything, but to do with your cruise control, lane departure, adaptive cruise on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, obviously, to do with the little display screen and the volume and hands-free underneath. Having a look up here, though, 48,248 kilometres. Got everything from digital speedos to your fuel consumptions, trip meters, all those types of things. Have a bit of a flick through and set it up as you please. When you make your way across, you've got the nice large touchscreen display. Also, make sure the touchscreen's working. We jump back home as well, though. It's where that reverse camera shows up. Right out the back, you know exactly where the back of the car is. Gives you great vision there. And obviously, you can set up those line uh, displays as you please as well make your way down a little storage compartment just above your air conditioning controls and then your USB and 12 volt just down in there uh, normally where people would keep the phone then but like most in an automatic nowadays different drive modes and traction control and a normal manual handbrake but up front very clean and tidy just like the rest of the vehicles been no markings or imperfections they've fitted a dash mat as well not trying to hide anything still um, but I'm not also making sure there's no cracks or fading or stickiness in the dash there. The books, all the books in here. Service history though, the main one people want to know about. Serviced at 14,000 there, Bundaberg Toyota. And serviced again at 28,000. And then just been serviced there at 44,500 Ks. So full service history all up to date. Next one's not due until 60,000 kilometers. they uh, giving you a good bit of time. Uh, last but not least, we will hop out, have a look underneath the bonnet while she's running, just to make sure obviously those services have paid off. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed before as we're going around, you've also got the weather shields that have been fitted on the front two windows as well. But as we have a look underneath, making sure she's nice and clean and tidy. No rust or red dust, it's not like you'd expect it on a vehicle like this, but more importantly, listening to it run, no knocks, rattles or squeals, just that motor ticking over nicely. But that was our virtual tour of our 2020 Toyota Yaris Ascent Sports. Hope you enjoyed and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.